Okay, got me a drink, throat's feeling a bit better. And we have... Something. Schematics of how the arc works. Arc works. Plural. We'll leave it to an S anyhow. Okay, so it's supposed to fly around the solar system. Presumably it's powered by solar power. Well, there's a survey we can take to assess our well-being and mental condition being turned into a digital person. How would you describe your physical condition? Uh, answer, yeah. As me answering as someone playing a video game, I guess. How would you describe your mental condition? Uh, yep. Yeah. Disconnected, separation of mind and body. You prove what's going on here. My mind may be piloting this digital construct, but the body's still out here. Describe my senses. Uh, well, I don't really have access to all of my... It's just visual and auditory, so, yeah. There's a new condition. Uh, it's connecting, I guess. Don't particularly feel part of this world. Then again, I take the meta game far too much, so that might be why. Are you troubled by the fact you're no longer strictly human? Ah, uh, yep. Answering, no, don't particularly care. How do you perceive your inner existence? Uh, yep, yeah. something completely different, nothing to do with the past self. New characters and all that. Never someone who takes their own personality into a game, I'm always someone else. We have a new sense of meaning in this world. If an artsy fartsy answer, but there it is. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Uh, no thank you. Thank you for participating, the ARC team. You know someone who does a lot of admin and stuff? In real life, I can, I've, got quite, I've got a lot of time for this sort of thing. Homed in on the arc. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. Yeah, considering something the way the game's building this Where up, I've it? got the impression it's Hold probably on. still on Earth. I'm, trying to find it. I'm willing to bet. Please let it be safe. It's not even been launched into space yet. Yep, I called it. Okay, where exactly is this place? Oh, we saw it on the map earlier. Where is it supposed to be again? Somewhere near North America. I remember that much. I think. No? South America? No. Middle America. Sort of. Oh, well, like we're smack bang between America and Europe, aren't we? Because, yeah, the correspondence is from London and New York and... Yeah, okay, I remember that. Right, which... Is it still in Lambda? No, it actually, yeah, it moved away from the construction phase, at least. Is it in Theta? No. Okay, I'm the car. Close, but no cigar. Is it in Phi, ready to launch? No. It's in Tau. Okay. I've even got to pinpoint exactly what part of Tau it's in, really. This map means nothing to me yet. I don't know what the entrance point is. I'm willing to bet that wherever it is, it's in the bloody place furthest from the actual entryway. Yeah, it's in a storage cupboard in Tau. Excellent. They made it and then apparently yeah, never launched it. it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no, it's on Earth. It's so close to fire, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. Yeah, a couple of decades to. from could, when? Could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. Hmm. Okay, so the plan is we upload our consciousness onto the Ark. Well, we'll get the Ark into the, I'll take us the big there. launch of Ink at Phi. I can move, Upload jump, our consciousness or a copy thereof, of. and there we go. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, Why do I know this I voice? Like this voice actor sounds suspiciously around. like Come on, Guy Watson. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. That's what Let's it's launch. The guy played Game Sunderland. We need to find a way to Some of the way he delivers these lines sounds like weird and disconnected, which is like Guy's signature thing. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the dump ad's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that can take us to Theta. Play Minesweeper for a couple of thousand years? Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't That's forget. That's a good point. There's no 
Can I pull Morphin the Morphin Bentley, you like wait, no wait. reason. Okay, just you can just walk. Be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Nope, the lady says we can pull it down now, so. Oh, get your mind out of the gutter. Right. Okay. Where the hell am I going? That's the question. Because the shuttle train is broken. And it, I mean, it says we could walk, but I'm presuming that we want to find a different way of actually doing it. If a way actually presents itself. So what does the game want me to do? You know, precisely. It's very dark around here. Do you not have a flashlight? Yes, there we go. Oh, that could have made things so much easier. Okay. That's very pretty. Doesn't help me much, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, raw crash bang. Oh, God. Visual distortions, too. Whatever's going on, the game does not like it. The game doesn't like it at all. Why does it keep doing that? I don't know if it comes across on the video, but it's incredibly loud when it's actually being played. Because it comes with like the visual distortion as well. Oh, it actually gives you like a momentary jump. Not a full blown jump scare. But just ratchet trip your heartbeat a couple of thousand knots. Okay. I think we've discovered much all there is to discover around here though. Like the aircon unit is dead, but that doesn't particularly matter to us. We've got just a diving suit. I'm not so certain why the diving suit is articulated though. Just suddenly thought, how is it moving around by itself? In the sense of why does it have the necessary um, architecture to mimic human movement by itself? Hmm. Again, she said there's a bunch of electronics and stuff welded onto it, so perhaps that's how. It's had a bunch of pistons and gears and such plugged into the joints to let it move around, human style. Probably the entirety of the inside is just filled up with that bloody uh, construction gel goop. I've been waiting for that. And back out we go. Eventually, the game will be frozen. No, we're good. I can't move the camera though, so I'm using it. Still can't move the camera. Game. Yeah, I'm like. Got some movement back. Can I move the camera again? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. We got movement back. The game was just. Taking a small eternity to load everything. What's this? Oh, there you go. Travel in style. Why not? Can I actually. Oh, God, it's going to take ages. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Okay. That's, uh, yeah, that does me quite nicely, in fact. The game brings out the Omni Tool just in case I hadn't realised. I can't seem to close it now, though. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Uh, how, what? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Mm hmm. Hey, this is our ride, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Got your ride. Good guess. There's a whole different uh, connotation, unfortunately. Oop. Sorry, it's dead. Worth a shot. Yeah, noticed. The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and uh, update the Omnitool. Yeah, I, I guess, they why do we need, should help why do we need this though? We need to be faster. I get that. We've got like decades worth of time. And like Simon's already said, there's absolutely no reason he couldn't just walk there. Absol I mean, you know, the occasional like mechanical shark. But they haven't proved overly difficult to evade one yet, have they? Let's face it. Anything up there? No. No, never mind. I guess I'm going uh, towards the lights. Seems to be the general idea. Just follow the light sources. What the hell is that? That's not my little buddy from earlier. That's a that's a pig robot. <laughs> nice call back to your own franchise there. Doing it to snout. Okay, that's cute. It is a pig machine. A machine like a pig. Okay. Hmm. Just follow the running lights. It would make sense, actually, if this was like a supply route between... Actually, no, this is... We're, oh, we're standing on top of the shuttle track between, um... Lambda and... What's it called? 
Rah, 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 rah. Okay, I generally don't know what that was about, but... The game was very angsty about something. Oh god, where is that? What the hell is that? Is that one of the fishmen? I say fishmen, the fish bots. Doesn't seem to be moving, actually. It's strange enough, I can't hear him talking to himself either. Which is particularly weird. <laughs> really, guys, that was just a low blow. Oh, you can't put the door colour the exact same colour as the bloody headlights on the dangerous fishmen bots. How exactly am I supposed to know? I mean, if I was playing this by myself, I probably would have sat there for god knows how many minutes, waiting to see what it did. It's only because I'm doing a let's play that I, you know, moved towards it with some sense of purpose and urgency. You know, trying to check as to whether or not it was safe or what was going on. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, that's that's pretty annoying. Not gonna lie. Okay, whatever. Uh, oh, can't seem to go further forward. I have to climb out the top like I did before. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Game says no. Okay, please don't say I found a dead end. I don't need to find any more dead ends in these games. Uh. Oh, okay. There's a, a way out around here. Wouldn't this just take me back on myself, though? I'm pretty sure this is just going to lead me backward. Oh, no. Okay, it goes right here. It goes, it goes the right way in the end. Okay, that, was what, that was what was throwing me. Gotta go backward to go forward. Bloody Welsh design ships. That ice cream lands out again. I'm always worried you guys are going to hear that, but... Not on a single one of my videos where he's driven past as I've been recording, has it ever actually turned up on the mic? It's weird, it sounds really, really loud. Oh, fuck! Well, that was the thing that happened. Although the heartbeat sound is a little bit disingenuous since we know that Simon here has no heart. I mean, quite literally, he's, he's a walking mechanical suit. He, he has no heart to beat. I can't help but think of that every time you bring up a heartbeat noise, a bit of a, a disconnect that's sort of throwing me out of the moment. So, boom, boom, yes, it's all very heart pounding, but wait, my character doesn't have a heart, so. Why would he be scared? Well, you know, scared in that fashion. How do I get in here? I need to get up where those stairs are, presumably. The question, as always, is how? Aha! Through the brightly lit entrance. That's how. Stairs. Oh, stairs. Ladder. Actually, wait a second. This, this ship's basically nosedived into the floor, right? So... Why? Yeah, actually, why the hell are there doors right way up? That's not right. These doors shouldn't exist. No, I'm, no, I'm calling bullshit on this one. The, these things should not exist in this fashion. No. Mm. There shouldn't be railings here either like this, I don't... Okay, I'm a little confused now. Is the ship pointing nose first into the ground like it appears to be, or is it lying on like it's back? Yeah, this is just like a standard door. This shouldn't be like this if the ship is pointing face down. I'm oh god, I didn't do that. Alright, the game's decided I'm now stopping in here. Yeah, there you go, it's loading, or saving, or All both. Right, we're in. Let's find a working escape vessel. Why do I know this place? This looks very familiar. Lockers and the bunk bed setup. Isn't this basically the ship you start off Penumbra? You know, sort of the general appearance of the room, I mean. Yeah, lockers, bunk beds. I, yeah. <laughs> Again, that's a nice little callback. Right, the emergency shuttle is through there. Can I smash the window? Ah! No. This window is not made of craptanium glass. And, oh god. Right, I can throw things more easily in this mode, can't I? Aha! Damn it all, come on. Surprisingly hard to do with a trackpad, I gotta say. Right, uh, ha! Nope, that's not working. 
Yeah, okay, never mind. Oh god, what's it saving now? What abysmal horrors it just loaded into my world. Hello. Hello. Scary, scary monsters. Oh god, what? What? Where? Right here? Yep, yeah, there we go. It's he of the many eyeballs. Christmas tree head, we call him. Yep, so the entire planet's surface is basically on fire right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, what's he doing? Oh, she said, don't look at it, didn't you? When I look at it, it seems to make it teleport closer to me. I don't think it can actually see or hear me. It seems to respond to me noticing it, somehow. Like it's seeing through my eyes? Does that make any sense? As long as I don't look at it to provide it with a, an estimate of where it is in relation to me, I don't think it can actually find me. He says, speaking possibly far too quickly. Are we good? Oh, God damn it. Go away. It's just repeating the report, isn't it, over and over again. Fire tornado just all across the land. And darkness evermore. Yep. That's oop god. Please say that wasn't enough for him to notice me. I'm gonna have to move. Because I don't know if he despawns like the amnesia monsters do if you, if you leave him alone long enough, or he's just gonna be constantly there and constantly patrolling. Because if he's constantly patrolling then. I wish I was just gonna have to say fuck it and make a run for it. So he just seems to be walking back and forth through the same two rooms, and every time I look up and catch a glimpse of him, that triggers him to come closer to me again, and starts the whole cycle over and over again. I mean, I can walk around just looking at the floor, I guess, but I'm gonna have to look up every now and again to figure out where I am. If I happen to glimpse him when I'm doing so, that's gonna be. Yeah. You have to go for it. You keep moving generally to the right. It's on fire. Is on fire. Oh god. Of course he's there, directly where I need to go. Of course he is, the fucking jerk. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's all up. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, is he getting closer? I'm guessing so because the visual distortion field is suddenly picking up again. Oh, we've got a brief glimpse at him there. Move your big fat stupid ass. I really appreciate it, bro. Is he gone? Distortions seem to have petered out, so. Kinda gonna have to assume that he has. Can't, he makes like a weird gargling noise. I suddenly can't hear that either. I think we're good. Okay. Oh, fuck it. Don't look. Just don't look. Stay crouched and don't look. That should be fine. Should have gone the moment the distortions vanished, shouldn't they? That's gonna be my lesson for the day. It seems to be okay, it's easy. He can't actually see me, as long as I don't make noise or look at him. I'm basically safe, is what the game is saying. So. Oh god, speaking of not making noise. That's a lot of noise right there. Click, 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 click. Yeah, up yours, game. <laughs> Ah, you stupid many-eyed freak. There's kind of irony there, isn't there? He's got so many eyes that he can't see me with any of them. Okay. Let's see what's going on now. Emergency shuttle is... this way? Nope. That'd be a wall. That's definitely a wall, so somewhere to my left, then. In here, with the galley? No. Then be snacks and things. That's not the way I want to go. No, that's not it. Oh, shit, he's out. How did I not notice him? Because I can't move my camera around too much in case I look directly at him. 
when it starts doing that distortion, that's why I didn't notice it. I really, really need him to leave the fucking room though. That'd really help. Ra ra goggle goggle to you as well, son. Come on. Come on. Leave the goddamn room already. There's so much distortion going on, I can't risk looking up. This is gonna be standing like right bloody next to me. Is he going yet? Is he fucked off? Is he left? Oop. That sound would probably indicate a no. He's standing like right behind me, isn't he? Yeah, he's right behind me. You got no idea what's going on or where I am, but he's probably standing literally right behind me. Okay, this is a thing that's happening. You good? You buggered off at last? There we go, he's going to get a snack in the galley. I hope. Nope, can't do that. Bum bum bum. Yeah, it's kind of hard to take that seriously as a... Basically a Cyberman in a dystopian future. Dystopian underwater future. But I like the underwater event. This is the kind of setup that many people trying to make Cthulhu Mythos games would have killed for. Set up like a legitimate reason why you can be underwater and see all the underwater horrors. I say legitimate. Just adding that sci fi element. Okay. Well, where exactly is this? Is this close to where I need to be? Can't be. You know, it's weird, like, some of the parts of the game, well, parts of this level, I'm trying to say more accurately. Not really level, you know what I mean. Some parts of the architecture look like. Oh, it's on its side, then the rest look like it's standing up. I don't quite understand what's going on here. Unless okay. we're intimating that somebody like rebuilt the interior of the wreck of this place, made it watertight. Originally, at least, that is. The serve was like a little underwater home after the boat submerged. I mean, that's what the captain's saying the idea that the boat submerged or sank or something and that ironically actually saved them momentarily from the, the impact yeah there you go so this boat sank before the comet actually hit and the people trapped underneath the waves in this boat were actually ironically saved quote unquote for a time and for a fashion okay nope nope open Oh, pen. There we go. It's hard not to end accidentally grabbing like one of the free floating physics objects in the room. I don't know if he can open doors, but I'm gonna I'm gonna assume not for now. Carefully does it. Carefully does it. Buzz buzz crackle crackle. Is he in there? I hear him gargling to himself. Assume he's nearby. I'm not making any noise, he can't. <laughs> uh, why would you do that? What's wrong with you? In fact, why do the machines have weird psychic powers? I suppose it's not really psychic powers, we're all machines here, so it's probably Wi Fi, but you get the idea. The question is still why. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm glad I shut that door now, actually. Ooh, I'm sure distortions have gone. Is he buggered off because he couldn't find me? You know, I'm glad that's a thing that's persisted across all the Amnesia games. All the frictional games, I should say more accurately. That if the thing's chasing you, don't find you. For the length of time, they basically just despawn. Definitely glad that's a thing. Definitely. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap, okay. Uh, this way, I guess. Okay. Keep heading towards the red lights. Now this looks important. 
and it's saying, so actually I'm going to stop here. And uh, carry on next time. See you later, folks. Bye-bye now.